Another common question for us that we often hear from educators is why aren't your lessons in order of the objectives? You know, like you, you don't start with objective one in your lessons. And there's a very specific reason for that. And uh, it's kind of funny because this was always sort of an issue for me. I've been involved with the ACA for a long time and, and I often work with Adobe when it comes time to refresh or just kind of look at the direction of the program. And one of the things that I've been pushing for for many years was that the objectives should be in the order that you learn them. But the order that you learn in and the order that you actually work in are different and it only makes sense really for the industry exam to show the objectives in the order that you would actually approach a job it just makes a lot more sense looking at it from a workplace standpoint but in the workplace what you do first is you know sit down and meet with the client you make sure you're aware of copyright issues uh you know you, you consider all of the design messages and what all of those things mean those concepts are a lot more difficult to grasp especially working with the client and being able to discuss with any sort of intelligence or knowledge what you can do with the application if you've never even opened it up and used it or created anything in it you may not even know what kind of questions to ask the client if you don't know what the software can do and what your actual abilities are when they say, hey, can you do this? You can only answer that question after you have experience with the software. So it's the first thing that you do when you are on the job, but it's pretty much the last thing that you learn about when you're actually learning. Uh, another example, just kind of how they're sort of inverted is that one of the first things that we go through in our curriculum is the interface. Make sure that you know how to run the application and all of the interfaces of the Adobe applications are very easy to customize. That means that they can also be goofed up. You know, somebody can have a really crazy workflow and panels open everywhere and you sit down to learn at the computer that somebody changed everything around and Photoshop on the lesson doesn't look at all like it does on your screen, it's much harder to learn from. So we need to talk about how to reset and customize and move things around and how it got that way at the very beginning, even though that's something that normally somebody wouldn't do until well into their career where they've got their own workflow that they've developed over time and they realize, you know, I just, I use this panel all the time. I'm gonna make it, you know, put it here in this more prominent position for me. So the objective order is the order that you would tackle a project in the real world. And since this is an industry exam, we wanted to focus on that particular purpose, but the learning order is different. And uh, generally it makes most sense to kind of go through most of the objectives in every project. At the beginning, you'll learn what you need to do. You might see an example, and, but then you need to set up the document and then you need to kind of modify the document. At the end, you print and save it, you export it whichever way you need to. But the order that you actually learn in is going to be different than the objective order and we just approach it in the way that's most natural and just what over the years of experience working in the classroom with this type of software and kids and trying different things this is what we found is just most solid and works best in the classroom.